Do you remember when you were a small child? I, 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 I remember some of when I was a small child, but you'd be at a store, your mom or daddy, and uh, you'd get kid caught, you know, focusing on other things than them, and they'd walk off, and you'd lose them. You would call for them, and when you were able to get your eyes on them again, did you just casually walk up and say, man, mom, dad, whew, lost you for a second there. All right, let's go. Like so. You ran toward them. Jesus said, and I, I was reading this in my, uh, I listened to some preaching this morning on the FM, and Jesus said there will be storms. Later this afternoon when I woke up from my nap, I read my day devotional. And uh, I've got a day devotional written by Billy Graham. Anyhow, these storms in life, especially as Christians, are the result of the devil and all his demons trying to get your focus off of God. The major part of the story to, to learn from when Peter stepped out of the boat when Jesus walked on water just Peter stepped out of the boat to walk towards Jesus. The most important part of that thing to remember is as long as he kept his eyes on Jesus, not looking back at what he'd already been through, not what he was going through at the moment, but as long as he kept his eyes on Jesus, he was fine. The moment he took his eyes off of Jesus, he began to drown. And Jesus, being the good Savior that he is, he walked over and pulled Jesus or pulled Peter's crazy butt out of the water and saved his life. He does the same thing with us. When we're going through storms, it's so easy to get so focused on the storm that it seems like we're never going to get out of it. But can I tell you something? Salvation. Jesus is on the other side, of, not just on the other side of the storm, but he's right there in the storm with you. So as long as you can look over and say, all right, Jesus, come on, let's whip another one. I've got somewhere around 2 million miles under my belt from driving 18 wheelers. Up and on since 1996. A lot of y'all watching this video weren't even born yet. Thanks for making me feel old. But anyhow, uh, <laughs> I've been through some storms. I've been chased by hurricanes. I've been through some torrential rains. In May 23rd, 2004, on the edge of one storm, I, my 18 wheeler got struck by lightning while I was driving it. In between Oklahoma City and Tulsa on I-44. But you know what? I'm still here in 2024, 20 years later. Why? Why have I survived all those storms? Not just Mother Nature storms, but two divorces, battled years of depression, Wanting to commit suicide. Why did I survive those storms? Probably because God knew one day he was going to need me to make this video. Over the weekend, we had a one of the best players to ever play for the Dallas Cowboys, Larry Allen. Dropped dead at 52 years old while on vacation with his family. Many of y'all watching this are 
a little past 52, maybe a lot past. Why? Why are other people younger than you passing, you know, that, that were born the same year you were, passing years before you do? Because God has a mission. He has something that he wants you to accomplish. Well, it's like me and that lightning strike, 2004. So as long as we stay focused on our mission, like I did last night, I, I set a goal to get past a certain point, or not for last, to get past Monroe, Louisiana, I had a 60 mile an hour storm chasing me in my 68 mile an hour truck. And I got past the point where that storm turned south and I could keep going east and I went to bed. I was tired, I had no trouble falling asleep. So if our goal is Jesus, what's Jesus' goal for us as the Good Shepherd? I heard it said this weekend, actually I think Pastor Charlie said it in Sunday's message that I ended up watching yesterday. We as sheep are supposed to go out and make other sheep. That's an easy goal. You don't have to be very, you know, extremely literate with the Bible and be able to quote a hundred verses a minute. <laughs> Man, just sharing what God has brought you through. How many times you've been at a restaurant? I like to talk about buffets for some reason, but when you're at a restaurant, somebody's trying something you never tried before. And you're not sure you want to try it. And they try it. And, oh my God, this is delicious. You have got to try this. And you reach over with a spoon or fork, get you a bite, and then you get to realize how delicious it is. Now what happens at that point? Now you go up to the buffet bar, whether it's at a restaurant or family gathering, and you're going to get you a couple of helpings of it. Don't be ashamed of what God has brought you through. Share it with everyone around you. When me and Crystal do our morning prayer, I always pray that God help us to bless those around us as you have blessed us. I don't share my entire 50 year life testimony with some people. Some people, I just share something that they might be going through. And God usually tells me what to share. So you've got that co worker that's struggling, complaining. You got that family member that's struggling or complaining and they're just they're just so beat down. All you gotta do is just let them see the light in you. Let them see the goodness of what you're partaking of. And they'll want to bite too. That's all it takes to make other sheep. Why do you think there are websites out there where people can share their experiences at various restaurants or businesses? It's to get other people to let other people know, hey, this place is all right. Well, I can tell you walking in Jesus' light is all right. I've got a different attitude about the storms. Is it always a positive attitude? No. I'm human. There are times that I lose my focus. 
and I start the woe is me. But those woe is me's don't last as long. I'm not battling the depression like I was. So, just remember, you're in a storm, keep your eyes on him, and ask him, Jesus, if I stumble to fall in this storm, will you just pick me up and carry me through? Because not only is he in front of you, he's right beside you, going through that storm. Someone out there is going through a storm right now. Someone watching this video. And they feel like they're going through it all alone. If you rely on earthly things or earthly humans or human beings in general for your comfort through a storm, you're looking in the wrong place. Is Jesus is our comfort through the storm and our helper through the storm. You're not walking through it alone. Like I said in my video, you're the coach on YouTube. He's just standing there waiting on you to tap him in. Just waiting on you to tap him in. Remember what I say at the end of every video, just an ounce of Jesus will save any size, so peace out.